Me here back at it again with another hidden fashion in Xenoverse 2. This is hidden fashion number two, so let's get right into it. You already know what it is. Let's go. Um for the first outfit. Here is Togama. Yes, Togama, you know, the one with the scouter and resurrection F. Um eventually I think he was yeah, he was killed by Frieza later, but um check it out. We got the Togama outfit. I want to begin you, of course. And guys, there's another key trick to match it. Like, well, how do I match the greens? You know, Vince, how do I match the greens? Well, this is what you do. You go to the scouter. You see the scouter? The scouter will really, really tell you what kind of green it should be. And if you read the scouter real good, then bang, you got the green there. Green down here. Um. I, I thought it was a little darker, but the more I look at it, it's more about right here. Or it could be brown to you. I see some people do some brown. More like this. Like a brown, or it could be this. But I'm going with the burgundy-ish colors. Well, there it is. Togama. Check it out. This thing is awesome. It's nice, a nice hidden hidden one these are this is what I'm talking about guys hidden costumes you may, you may have go over them a thousand times but there's hidden stuff in here as far as moves um he didn't utilize too much stuff so I won't sledgehammer tail slicer because if you play like a Dragon Ball Heroes game he does like this harpoon type key uh like like key blade so saucer blade you can go Aurora blade if you want if you don't want the sledgehammer shine shot just a little thing divine lasso because just cause it's like a sword technique and then uh, full power and blast volley I feel like he would have um, and spread shot retreat nothing too fancy alright for the second costume let's see we got casserole you know from um, universe I think it's universe 11 he's part of the tr pride troopers so yeah his outfit ultimate turtle hermit costume I put the lower body it's big pants so I use the ninja the wrist, uh, yeah, the wrist bands. I use the battle suit. Feet. They don't have the line in the middle, the white line, but that's all right. So I'm with the training temple. And for his head, there's two ways you can do it. I have red hair, so I don't need the hat that he wears. <laughs> Plus, if you want the hat, get the Seiyuki hood. Would be my suggestion. Because I mean. I, I also like like he he wears like this eyepiece like a scouter it looks like but it also comes down as like a helmet like a communicator like the police helmet does yeah it has the little doilies on the side so either one of those are fine as far as moves um, heroes pose fighting pose D to increase like uh, battle strength or uh, I, this one's boost of speed but you know any one of these increase battle strength you know increasing you take less damage, I feel like that's cool. Justice Rush, Wild Hunt, and the move that we saw, it was like, both of them was like a twin cannon type thing, so Elegant Blaster, and then uh, Potential Unleashed, and Turn Retreat, spin like a top to get away from your enemies. Or you can go Rolling Bullet, I'm not mad at that either. Well, there's Casserole, <clears throat> excuse me, there's Casserole. That's another hidden gem in here, which you can do. And guys, these are just costumes. Uh, you, you can do the builds if you want, but these are just costumes. Things you can wear around the lobby. Um, let's see. Number three would be, yes, Yusuke from Yu Yu Hakusho and Ishime. Let's see. Um, Yurameshi. Let's see. I went with the uniform to really. I feel like this. I nailed this thing. This thing. I walk around with it a lot. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta put it in the hidden because I walk around with it in the lobby a lot. And what you're gonna do with the uniform, get the ninja out. Um, hands, I use the gi. And then shoes, all black. Either ones work. I went with the training ones. And it's like a light yellow or yellow. It could be, <clears throat> it depends. Excuse me, guys. It's, um, it depends on which yellow you think. Like, it could even be darker to you, darker to some, a little lighter. I feel like it's a little lighter. Um,. Yeah, and just blend it in with the skin. I blended it in because, you know, my character is all white. And navy blue. Or is it, yeah, it's like a navy blue. Black sash. Real relatively easy. Moves at um, Atomic Blast. Dodon Ray for the spear guns, of course. These two spear guns. A little bit of hits. 
Super God Fist, a nice OP move, and uh, another nice move is Evil Whirlwind. Hit him with more, <laughs> more spear guns if you want, more finger blasting, super saging if you will, and uh, spirit explosion. And there it is. This is my Yusuke outfit. I walk around with a lot. And let's move on. Now, number four is Android 17's super costume. Oh, crashing the video. <laughs> All right, um, now this, I use the red ribbon, of course. I use the lower body pants. Future Mize gloves. You can also, if you don't have Future Mize gloves, those who don't have the DLCs, I suggest using his sister's gloves. Androids, uh, where are they? Around here somewhere. Yeah, right here. I suggest using those. Those also work. And then baseball, I went with those to complete the pants. Perfectly blended them. And then uh, gray or black, it really doesn't matter. Gray or black. As far as skills, Deadly Dance, just his skill set. Side Bridge, Drain Field, because I really haven't, he just battled Goku, but he didn't really battle him like that, so he didn't really see anything brand new. That way, you know, I see in the tournament. But yeah, just his regular moveset here. Um, yeah, and that's, that's the Android right here. Let's see. Number five, we have Beast Boy, one of my favorite CACs, and that takes me back from Xenoverse 1. Man, um, I used to rock around the lobby just like this and then make, uh, I would make Beast Boy, turn a lot of heads with it, uh, but get the pilot suit, get the four star lower body, blend that in perfectly, get the hands, use the, these, or I see people, like, when, <laughs> when I would tell them to build, they would use these, which is also fine, guys, use any gloves you want to. Give you any advantages you want. Um, and four star for the feet. And look at these. Man, I love this costume so much. Um, you can make it darker if you want. Completely up to you. The only thing that's missing is the belt. But that's all right. The belt didn't really do anything. It's just an accessory for Beast Boy. As far as moves for Beast Boy, Super Dragon Fist. I did everything with a, a animal name. Eagle, Dragon, Body Change if you want, and an Angry Shout. Wolf Fang Fist, Eagle Kick. Just things of that nature. Because you really can't transform, transform. But yeah, that's my Beast Boy build. <laughs> Big shout outs to Kurikita. <laughs> that's how he said, hey, <laughs> he's waving. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Welcome to Custom Key Gaming. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, number six, Mario. We got the Mario build. It's a me, Mario. Yes, we got the Mario build, man. This is awesome. Let's get right into this. Now for the Mario build, I went with the battle suit, lower body training. Completed with the hands. You can use the, I use the uniform because they're a little bit bigger than the uh, pilots. And only because I had the white skin, so it blends nice. Trendy suit for the shoes. Guys, you do not have to use trendies. If you don't have trendies, use these. Use the training. Training works just fine. Just make it all brown. That's all you gotta do. Mustache, I use the mustache. Because without the glasses, that would be great. They have the mustache. So that's his nose, or the Wario at least. Um, but yeah, there's my Mario build. If you want to, completely up to you guys. Can change it, Luigi. There you go. Get that Luigi going, Luigi Mario. You know, get that Warrior going, Wario going, and you just change it to purple. Get that Waluigi going, guys. So much you can do with this outfit. It's amazing. Now the skills, critical offer. I went with the Super Smash Bro style. Mock punch. You know, speedy punches. Finish breaker for fireballs. Super God Fist for that ultra punch. Another ultra punch for Dragon Fist. Brave Heat for more burning attack. Super Saiyan. And then an energy dome. There we go. Boing! Yes, the coin. Critical upper. And there is my Mario set. And the last costume, guys. We have Mega Man. 
Mega 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 Man. Now check this out. Mega Man in the house. Now um let's see. For the pilot suit, make it very light, very light, very, very light. Everything light up here, all these down here, and then just try to match it to the helmet as best way as you can. And that's it, man. It's really, really, really easy. I used to walk around like this in the lobby all the time, Mega Man style. And for the moves of Mega Man, hit him with that Tyrant Lancer, all oh, one arm. Blasting, super explosive wave, big bang attack, atomic blast, one handed command man, then hit that Mach 2, hit that Super Sage if you want for the electricity, and then special beam blast. All one handers, man. Check that out, man. Well, guys, there it is. Hope you liked this hidden fashion number two. Um, let me know if you guys want a number three, and I will bring that to the masses man there's tons more costumes guys i got tons more to show you until next time i will see you in the next episode <laughs> all right man peace